So welcome to another lecture on modeling and simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. We have discussed basic matrix operations and uh, in this lecture we will revisit the idea of matrix multiplication that uh, you guys may have covered in your high school or may have covered uh, in a basic course on linear algebra as well but for completeness we will revisit those ideas. So we say that we have two matrices, so matrix A and matrix B, so matrix A and matrix B and say A is M times N matrix and B is in K matrix then or B is a K times L matrix suppose then and B can be multiplied only if k equals n that is the number of rows in B equals the number of columns So this you might have done in your high school and uh, this is this we use as a rule of thumb that uh, this is the basic compatibility condition for the multiplication of matrices. So in other languages such as C, C++ matrix multiplication is not inbuilt or when you have to talk about matrix multiplication you will have to write your own code which is uh, slightly complicated. But with MATLAB matrix multiplication, multiplication is automatic MATLAB and we would not have to write uh, any additional code for it and we will take for granted, we will take this for granted for the rest of this course that is there. But that said there are still some aspects to matrix multiplication that uh, we will want to look at. So uh, we will start with uh, the idea of inner and outer products and uh, then we will uh, continue to looking at uh, matrix So or matrices. Here I assume that uh, you have the basic idea of the, what is the rank of a matrix while talking about this. If not, so what I will do is I will first talk about the inner product and outer product and uh, then we will discuss the rank of a matrix or uh, some results related to the rank of a matrix fine. So rank I will not go into much details I will just uh, touch upon it but uh, or actually let us first discuss the rank of a matrix and then talk about uh, inner and outer products. So I will just define the rank and uh, see what happens. So the rank of a matrix matrix is maximum number of linearly independent columns rank or the column rank. Similarly, the row rank of matrix is the maximum number of linearly rows contained in simpler words 
you can express one row or column of the matrix of or one column of a matrix. Let me do this separately. One column of an matrix as the columns of that matrix then the corresponding column rank is called rank it is called rank deficient fine so this is how you define the rank of a matrix and this is uh, one more result on ranks that uh, we will want to cover before we talk about matrix multiplication so I will write it here so if A and B are matrices with ranks P and Q respectively, then rank of AB equals minimum of this. So, if A and B are matrices with ranks P and Q respectively then uh, the rank of uh, their product is the minimum of the two ranks fine. So, with that said let us look at uh, inner and outer product. So, these are defined for products are defined for column vectors. So, consider R in M and Y in N. Let us say this. So, if M equals N then x transpose y is scalar and summation x i y i this is called the so the inner product of x and y is given like this similarly can so these n dimensions combine and we get the inner product we similarly define outer product of x and y as x y transpose so we can define the outer product of x and y as x y transpose so what is so special about it? We will see. So, transpose equals x 
वन टू फाइन सो दिस गिव्स मी फर्स्ट टू एंड फर्स्ट कॉलम एक्स वन वाई वन फर्स्ट टू एंड सेकेंड कॉलम एक्स वन वाई टू एक्स वन वाई एन सिमिलरली X M Y one two X This is an M times N matrix. Fine. So multiplying X with Y transpose, and this is true for for any column vectors. and this is called the outer product the note that x y transpose equals transpose whole transpose so note that the x y transpose is the transpose of y x transpose so the outer product is uh, non commutative one but x transpose y equals y transpose x so outer product is non the outer product is non commutative but the inner product is but the inner product is commutative so and also we can say that another thing we can say here is that the second row or the second column here is say i call this z so i can write this as z1 up till zn but zk equals or the kth column equals z1 times this so in general i can represent the kth column of the outer product like this so this is so each column of it can be represented as uh, a multiplication of uh, something with the first column or i can say that each column is a linear combination of just one column so which means that the outer product results in a rank 1 matrix so the outer product results in a rank 1 matrix so with this information about inner and outer products we'll stop and uh, in the next lecture we will use this definition to have a deeper look into matrix multiplications thank you